Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ARC family. This is Mr. Park. It's my second uh, Nightlight Principles newscast, just to keep you updated on some of the, the great things that are happening here at Russell Knight. Um, so first thing that I wanted to, to share is, uh, obviously September has come and gone at this point, even though we still have uh, July weather. I, I'm definitely grateful for no rain, which is nice to be able to get out for outdoor recess but I am very much looking forward to fall weather. Um, this year has really started off exactly um, how we expected it to start. Now, great energy, great excitement. Um, students as well as staff um, have just really embraced the beginning of the year, have come in, fired up, and we're, we're having a lot of fun, a lot of learning, a lot of fun, a lot of engagement. Um, it's been an exciting, exciting month. I also wanted to, uh, you know, I've shared before in the past, uh, just that, that I, I give I give thanks every morning. And so in regards to my, my gratitude list, uh, I can tell you that on a daily basis, I do give thanks um, for this community. Um, you guys, you're always on um, my list and to start my morning off. Some of the things that we, we started last year and really, really uh, rolling out this year is hashtag celebrate Monday. Um, this is a day where I'm really looking for things to just celebrate about being back in school and, and wonderful things that are happening here at ARC. Um, but we start every Monday off with a little music. Um, you'll see me walking around with my handheld speaker or just speaker set up in the front of the building. And we're just playing happy music, right? There's something about music that evokes um, emotion. And, and we wanna start each week off on a positive note. And one of the things that, that is a dream um, for us at, at night is, is that we want our staff as well as our students to really dance in the school, right? Not, not just figuratively, uh, but even literally, we would love to see kids dancing. And, and that's hard for them, right? To go out and step out of the box, they're tired. Uh, but I would love to see some kids come in and just dance in the school. Uh, that's something that we, we are looking forward to seeing and we'll be continuing to grow this year. Um, good news call of the day is something that we will continue to do this year. We celebrate student successes. That's what it's about, right? We want to encourage kids. We want to build them up. We want to highlight the amazing things that they're doing uh, in, in this school setting. And so there's something called, if you're not familiar with it, it's something called hashtag good news call of the day. Um, what we do, that is we're looking, staff, myself, we're looking for students who are just demonstrating behaviors that we would want other students to, to follow, right? We want, we're looking for leaders when it comes to, to, uh, to living out our core values. Um, we're looking for students who are willing to overcome challenges, take risks, uh, be a good friend. And when we, we catch them doing that, I'll, I'll meet with them. I'll, I'll make a positive phone call home and let their parents know um, how their child's doing and, and how they're impacting our school community. Um, and with permission, I will post uh, the child's picture um, on, on social media, so through our Twitter account, Facebook account, as well as our website. Um, we want to celebrate, right? And, and we want our kids to know we notice when they're doing, when they're doing things well um, and living out the art code. Um, want to introduce you to a new family member. We will have a new world language teacher. This will not affect all classrooms, but Mrs. Stephanie Sanchez uh, will be joining us uh, beginning the first week of October. Uh, this will impact Mrs. Bergstrom's class, Mrs. Marchetti and Ferguson, Mrs. Katsikis and Yukna, Mrs. Kraft, as well as Mrs. Sierra and Mr. Kritz's classes. Uh, but I just wanted to let you know, we're going to have a new family member. Very excited to have her part of uh, this group. And I know that she will bring much to the table. Uh, lastly, uh, I just wanted to end with uh, the, something that we've been doing in school. It, it, it's about principles read aloud. Uh, we wanna just encourage and, and demonstrate the love of reading, right? We, our kids go home and are asked to read every night and some love it, some don't, uh, but we as adults know the power of reading. I know the power of reading. I know that when I surround myself with books, I'm able to bring in geniuses, right? Men that I could never sit down, women that I could sit down with and pick their brains, but I can get in their heads through books. 
I can learn from them, grow from them, become more effective. Um, I told the kids when I went in for my first read aloud, you know, that I read a lot of nonfiction. I love reading about how to be a better dad. I love reading about just growing in my faith, how to be a better husband. I read a lot about um, being a better principal and a better teacher. And I know that that reading has made me better in all of those different contexts. And I want your children to understand that. And so I'll be doing principal read alouds um, throughout the year. My first book uh, that I shared was a book called What Do You Do With an Idea? Um, it's a great book. Uh, it's a book just, it's, it's about the power of, of growing an idea and, and embracing it and taking it in and just feeding it. And then what can happen when you release that idea into the world and, and share it with others, you add color to the world, right? You can do incredible things. And so it's a great book to start with. Um, and my challenge to you parents would be this, um, whether you are a reader or not, I, I, I really would encourage you and challenge you um, to, to read with your children, right? For some of the younger ones, it may be literally just reading to them um, or reading together with them. Uh, and for the older students, you could continue to read to them as well, but model it. Read with them, right? Read a book, read a newspaper article, read a magazine, um, whatever it is, but model it for your children and, and talk with them about what you're reading and what you're learning from it and how it makes you better um, in regards to understanding the world um, or understanding your field or understanding people, whatever it might be. Tell them the power of what reading, the power, the, what power comes from reading. Um, that's it. I'm looking forward to seeing all of you in the month of October and hope you are all well. Remember, we have a PTA meeting coming up in October. Um, hope to see you there as well.